Hello Capricorns. I'm going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. The devil, which is actually Capricorn, pretty sure. Um, justice. King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. The moon. Someone has a hidden love offer here for you. It's a king or queen of pentacles. Hmm. Maybe you're dating another earth sign, possibly for some of you. But someone's coming out of the devil energy here. There's this justice. Ace of cups, the moon. Ace of... Yeah, someone wants to give you some kind of love offer. Tell me more about the devil card. Tell me more about what this, this devil energy is that's being let go of. Eight of cups. Okay, so someone's walking away from something. From a third party situation. Okay. Or from... A third party isn't always a person. Third party isn't always a person for some. I mean, for some, it's like a mother or father figure or a brother or sister or toxic friends. Uh, a, it could be an ex-lover. Um, for some, it's also just anything outside of the connection that was causing interference. That's what this person is walking away from. Could even be an aspect of themselves. I mean, usually it's it's more of like an outside situation, but I I could almost see this as... This could be drinking, actually. Somebody could be quitting drinking here. Or somebody could be quitting some kind of addiction here with the devil and the three of cups. Maybe partying and trying to distract themselves from you. Trying to avoid their feelings. Um, I feel like it could even be aspects of their own personality, like their own devil energy, their own subconscious patterns, uh, toxic belief systems that they're walking away from. Yeah, because that was just leading to heartbreak. There was some kind of truth that came in, something that just made that, yeah, some kind of truth or communication it could be something that you said that really stuck with them, that made them realize the situation is just keeping them in heartbreak. The Hierophant. What about the Hierophant? The Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Lots of knight energy. So knights are all about action. So it's like this person's... Yeah, you're the Queen of Swords. You're not letting them come unless they come correct. Because it's almost like they want to come as a Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles is stable and loyal and grounded. But I almost feel like... I, I've never seen it like this before. But the Knight of Wands is almost here like opposing this Knight of Pentacles. So it could even be that that she has two different options now that are kind of fighting for her. Because um, maybe he stayed in this devil energy and these patterns for too long. And kind of sabotage things to a degree. I also feel like it's kind of her saying, it's almost like this side of herself that's saying, like, you have to, you you come in with more of a passionate energy. You don't, don't take forever. Don't, yeah, he's he's loyal and grounded, but it's, it's like it's taking, it took too long. I feel like there's like this sense of impatience here. Page of Cups. Six of Wands, Victory. Yeah, she's kind of like it's like he's he wants to make this offer now, and she's like, yeah, I'll consider it. All she's kind of she's kind of guarded now, he or she, male or female, someone's kind of guarded here. But with the devil and justice, it's like there's some kind of justice that's taking place. I feel like this person just learned a really important karmic lesson. I feel like they were caught up in this. This might have been drinking. This might have been. Um, like I said, could be trying to distract themselves, third party situations, uh, maybe overdoing it, over self-indulgent kind of selfish energy. Um, just some kind of pattern or belief, something, something that they were doing that was keeping them bound, keeping them trapped. And like I said, could even be another person that they had a karmic uh, soul contract with, that they had to wrap up that soul contract with that third party. But something's come in that's made them realize that that path is only going to lead to heartbreak, that it's not really going to go anywhere. And there's divine intervention. Someone's spirit guide stepping in. There's justice here. And I feel like this, this whatever this cycle is that this person just went through, it's made them more grounded, more stable. 
um, maybe more logical, like they're, they're trying to find that balance. And there's a hidden love offer here too. That's what you're not seeing is I think that they do want to give you like an ace of cups, ace of pentacles. Like they want to give you something solid. Um, tell me more about this love offer that they want to bring in. Because they want to leave the past behind, whatever it was that was holding them back from this. Yeah, they're they're closing out a cycle of conflict. They're probably spending a lot of time alone right now. They might be isolating from friends, from family. I feel like there might have been a betrayal, actually. I'm, I'm just getting that. I'm just hearing that for some of you. Um, this third party that they realized it was just going to be heartbreak with, they, that they're walking away from, they're realizing that was devil energy, that that was keeping them stuck, stagnant, keeping them trapped. I feel like there might have actually been multiple people involved in that. So that might have been like a toxic family member and maybe like multiple family members were helping them. Like, let's say it was like a toxic like um, brother or sister or like an ex-wife or ex-husband. Like maybe their entire family was like encouraging them to work through things with them and guilt tripping them and saying, oh, well, they're they're your family. So you got to you got to work on it. You know, you, you, you can't just cut out your family. Like, it's something like that where I feel like there was multiple people tied to this one person or one one situation or person or place that they let go of. I feel like there was, there was, it's almost like the, like the domino effect or I, I, is that what it's called? Where it's like, there's, I think there's like a lot of different things that like fell along with that, with that connection. Like it might've been like somebody in the community that they knew, maybe they had like mutual friends with this person and maybe some people are taking this other person's side and kind of, um, you know, this person feels like they're kind of ostracized almost like they feel like they're, it's like there's this end to conflict, but, but yeah, I think there might be some drama in the community for some, because it feels like this person might kind of go into, uh, hermit mode a little bit and kind of just you know they might have to cut out more than one person it's, it's like or more than one person might cut out them it might be like they break up with somebody or they they end this they they cut their parent out or they cut their sibling out but then like other family members side with that sibling you know what I mean or it's like they cut this friend out they have a falling out with this friend and they're like you know I don't want to be best friends anymore you're toxic for me but then like anyone that in their social circle is going to, you know, listen to this other person and listen to the gossip and the rumors and side with that other person and not with, you know, not with well, not with your person. They're going to there's going to be like a, a choosing of sides. It kind of feels like to a degree. But um, but yeah, this person's going to maybe spend some time alone. Yeah, moving from rough waters to calmer waters in the sun, the star healing, hope, faith, the empress i feel like this could be you too just standing your ground and just being the empress just being in your power it's like a like a divine feminine kind of energy here male or female it's just like getting in touch with that you know feminine side of yourself but in a very powerful way maybe going out and this person might be traveling too they might be um going out to recharge to heal because we see like a lake or a river here possibly and the empress can talk about like mother nature we see the trees in the background so this person might need to take some time out in nature like they might need to go on a trip um I'm hearing Colorado for somebody like I'm hearing like Colorado or like Oregon or Washington like because I'm seeing like these like woods like I'm seeing like all these trees and maybe like a lake or a river or something where people just need to go you know step foot in the river and and ground yourself and heal and just have some time just to yourself to just to, to clear your head and I feel like somebody's going to come out of that really recharged really you know in their in their power standing their ground there, um, I think someone might speak their truth here too. There might be some conflict in the community. Someone might end up speaking their truth and this, this emperor or empress energy might end up just saying, you know what, I'm believe the rumors or don't, but you know, come to me if, if you want the truth, if you want to hear my side of the story, come to me, but, but you're not going to get too tied up in the drama. I don't feel cause I feel like you're just, yeah, like I said, just in your power. And then what comes next? What comes next after this person standing in their power? New perspective on things. Nine of swords, ten of cups. Hmm. Tell me more about it's a really weird transition. Nine of swords, like anxiety, sleepless nights, insomnia. 
But then it's like, it's it's not as bad as you think. You actually do have a Ten of Cups here. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this person knows that they have to, there's, it's almost like an ego death. Like this person needs, knows that they, there's divine justice here. So this person had to put an end to their sneaky behavior. If they were drinking too much or entertaining a third party, whatever it was that they had this epiphany about or they realized it was holding them back from you, I feel like there was some kind of, like they know that they can't do that anymore. Yeah, because they're feeling nostalgic now. But they're almost feeling like maybe they're going to be left out in the cold. Yeah, because it's like they're wanting to build, but they're like scared. They're like, what if it's too late, you know? Strength and the magician. But I think ultimately they're going to decide like they do want to be strong and they want to manifest this because they do still want the Ten of Cups with this person. Where it's like there's this hidden love offer. They want to make this love offer, but right now they're kind of keeping it to themselves. Um, just because I think they're going through so much. Like I said, there's a third party ending or whatever. It might not be a third party for everyone. Like I said, it could just be their own their own devil inner, their own toxicity, becoming aware of their patterns and going through this ego death. And um, maybe, like I said, there might be some gossip and rumors in the community where they're going to have to kind of separate from a lot of people. They're going to have to be alone for a little bit and just, you know, clear the energy, protect their space. Maybe they might do some traveling. Maybe going out in nature, grounding themselves. You might see this person going on a trip. Like they might be like, well, you know, it's summer. I, I want to go. I've been wanting to go to this state or this city. Like I want, you know, like they, 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 they need they need to recharge themselves. They need to heal a little bit. Um, there might be a fear of the rumors too affecting your connection. There might be somebody that's threatening them too and saying, oh, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell them that, that you did this and this and this. If you don't, you know what I mean? Like there might be something might be held over their head, but ultimately I do think in the end, they're going to choose to be strong and to manifest this 10 of cups that they want with you. But yeah, there is a per period of, you know, rest and healing and kind of going inward and finding that balance. Yeah, kind of just regathering their strength because this was a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. So kind of just being alone for a little bit while they while they regather their strength to, to come forward and manifest this life that they want. Because at the moment, they don't really have the energy to fully focus on manifesting the Ten of Cups that they want with you. Right now, they feel like they have to just kind of just isolate a little bit and just kind of heal from the drama and just, you know, like I said, just just clear their energy, maybe travel a little bit, um, ground themselves, kind of lay low for a little bit before they're ready to, to step up and get back out there again. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. If you'd like a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That email is right below in the description box. And uh, any comments are appreciated, you know, just even leaving a heart comment, it really helps me get back in the algorithm. Uh, liking the video, that really helps me too. If you want to share it, maybe someone on your social media needs to hear it. Uh, subscribing, I really appreciate those things. So thank you guys for watching.